Well, surprise, surprise, the UK government once again has overpromised but underdelivered. As Prime Minister Sunak choreographed the revised protocol, regally named the Windsor Framework, as a huge coup for the UK. But upon reading the detail, it's clear that little has actually changed. Yes, there'll be some operational day to day improvements for sending goods to Northern Ireland from the rest of the UK. But these issues should never have been there in the first place. And while some customs burdens are due to be eased, EU laws will still apply in Northern Ireland and there will still be some checks in the Irish Sea. And apart from food, drink and pharma, EU laws and standards will still apply. And there is not complete flexibility for the UK on VAT nor on excise duty rates. And as for the smart sounding Stormont break, trumpeted by the Prime Minister, well it's a con. It's what you would expect from a second hand car salesman, a badly designed device that can never be made to work. So in summary, Prime Minister Sunak has missold this new agreement. The UK government has still left Northern Ireland partly in the EU. It's only partly sovereign to the UK. And the EU has concluded that Sunak will not cut taxes and won't get rid of daft EU regulations so that we could grow faster, more dynamically. And they assume that Labour will be in charge in a mere 20 months time and that they'll want to get even closer to the EU so they won't cut taxes, they won't cut regulations so that we could grow faster. The truth is that only Reform UK can be trusted to do Brexit properly by taking control, full control, of our laws, our money and our borders.